So if you want to learn Splunk as a beginner, in that case, there are three courses which is free and I'm going to recommend these courses. And these courses are available on Splunk official website. It is completely free and along with the course completion, they are going to give you a completion certificate, which is going to be, of course, more valuable if you do a certification from Udemy or from YouTube. Uh, of course, I'm not saying that you should not do certification from uh, Udemy or any other website. You can do that as well. But uh, if you are working on Splunk and you have certification from Splunk, then that's going to have more weightage and that's going to be more useful. So apart from that, the courses are really uh, great. I haven't really seen this quality of content on any of the YouTube channel or any of uh, Udemy or Coursera websites. So the quality is great and they also receive feedback. So if you want to give them feedback on the, uh, their course quality, they are going to take that into consideration and going to improve it. Now let's talk about all the three uh, completion certification which I have achieved and I just actually did it in uh, less than 12 hours actually because uh, the reason is that I'm already a bit aware of Splunk. Okay, I'm not going to say that I'm, uh, I'm an expert in Splunk uh, because that really needs experience and time to work on Splunk before you really get, uh, before you can in fact really call yourself an expert. So in this case, I'm just going to talk about uh, first certification which is going to be which is called actually Splunk 7.x fundamentals part one so in this one they are going to tell you everything about uh, Splunk searches and all these basic fundamentals about how you uh, pull the data into Splunk how you get the data back from Splunk how you can create dashboards how you can query the data so all those sort of details are available in this course and within uh, this is actually four hour course which you can do uh, probably you can do in a couple of days if you are really enthusiastic about this course or if let's say you don't get much time in that case anyways Splunk they give you 30 days of validity so you can do this course 30 days from the time of registration or the date of registration so using this course you will be able to understand Splunk and you will be able to you know, use Splunk in a good way and you'll be able to perform different sorts of queries. You'll be having an uh, idea about lookups. You're going to understand a bit about indexing and all those stuff. Okay, so this certification is uh, pretty useful, especially you are a Splunk beginner. So this is the first thing which you should be doing. And next thing is uh, about Splunk infrastructure overview. Okay, this certificate or this course rather is going to be pretty useful for uh, from admin point of view. If you are a Splunk admin or you want to begin your career in Splunk administration, then this is the course which you should be doing. And after this course, you can of course move on to other uh, Splunk administration courses which are available on this uh, website as a paid course or you can move on to Udemy and buy uh, some of the courses which are available as, uh, for Splunk admin. Okay. and. Uh, in this course, you are going to learn about installing Splunk, installing uh, Splunk uh, agents, which are actually called Splunk forwarders. And after that, you are going to learn how to do some of the configuration. You are going to also understand about clustering, clustering of different components uh, such as uh, Splunk or uh, uh, search heads and uh, other components such as forwarders. So forward, uh, they are going to give you idea about all those things. And from an admin point of view, this course uh, should be your first course, which you should be doing. And it is a small, I mean, it is a short course. It is only two hours of course. And, but this gives you a lot of clarity about how Splunk works, how the Splunk architecture is, and how you can become a Splunk admin, okay? The third course was actually is uh, pretty useful, especially if you are interested into machine learning and AI and those sort of stuff. The certification was about uh, Splunk UBT or UBA you can call this is Splunk user behavior analytics and in this one you are going to see how security Splunk security admin or how uh, basically how you do Splunk security related things and how you identify outlier user or how you identify any security breaches so all those sort of information is available uh, in this course okay and all these three courses are available for free and it is really so much great in quality and it really the total amount of time you need to spend on these courses is probably going to be a couple of days but the amount of knowledge which you are going to get is probably going to be uh, way higher and after doing this course you're going to be very comfortable in Splunk 
and of course you can do other certification as well if you are on the path of making your career in Splunk. Uh, in next video probably go, we are going to talk about Splunk certification. I have discussed with uh, one of my friends who has done a Splunk, uh, who is now actually a Splunk certified admin and we are going to listen to his experience, we are going to understand and we are going to see how he uh, approached his certification, how much time it took him for the preparation and what are the career opportunities which he's looking forward uh, to after doing uh, Splunk admin certification. So stay tuned in the next video. If you like this video, do comment and let me know about this video. And uh, if you need anything or you need any uh, clarity or you, need, you, you want me to clarify anything, you can just write in the comment section. Either I'm going to answer it or I'll, I'm going to get in touch with one of the Splunk certified admins and going to uh, get all your queries answered. So. Thank you so much for watching.